Wominjika, and welcome. Before we begin, I'd like to acknowledge the Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nation, the traditional owners on the land on which we gather and tonight pay our respects to their elders past and present. I extend that respect to Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples here with us this evening. And on behalf of Tennis Australia, I'd like to welcome the Governor-General, His Excellency, the Honourable David Hurley, the Victorian Premier, the Honourable Jacinta Allen, the Deputy Prime Minister, the Honourable Richard Miles, and Victorian Minister for Tourism, Sport and Major Events, Steve Demopoulos, and all other dignitaries and government representatives that are here with us tonight. Joining us on court for the presentation is the Chair of Tennis Australia, Jane Herdlicker, Mr Ling Feng, the General Manager of Le Jou Le Jou, Tournament Director, <laughs> the Tournament Director, Craig Tiley, Tournament Referee, Wayne McEwen, and to present our trophy tonight, celebrating her 50th anniversary of her first Australian Open win, a seven-time Grand Slam singles champion, Yvonne Gulagong Corley. Well, the Daphne Akers Memorial Cup, which is awarded to our champion tonight, has been travelling around Victoria over several weeks with our AO on the road team and is now safely back here on Rod Laver Arena. She certainly is a very fine piece of silverware. <laughs> it's Daphne, everybody. I'd like now, though, to invite the Chair of Tennis Australia, Jane Herdlicker, to say a few words. What a beautiful night for tennis. Sport plays a really important role in uniting community, and that's ever important in an uncertain world. And we're so proud to announce that we've had over a million people from all parts of the community come and join us at the Australian Open to enjoy one of the world's best entertainment and sporting experiences. And we've also had over a billion people around the world enjoying the spectacular tennis over the course of the last three weeks. And we're really proud of the uniting effect sport brings to community. We're also really proud of our 12,000 strong people across this site in all manner of jobs from ball kids to umpires to security teams to all the guest services people who work really hard to ensure that everybody comes, everybody that comes to the Australian Open enjoys a really amazing experience and leaves with a huge smile on their faces. And we're also really proud of our sponsors. We have amazing partnerships from Rolex to the Victorian government to Kia, uh, Lujo, Lujao, and uh, Emirates. We've got amazing partnerships that run deep and they enable us to do all the things that we do here and we're very grateful for their support. Now, tonight was a night for our reigning champion, and she demonstrated all that she's made of, and we're really proud of her performance tonight, and we're very proud to have a first-time finalist in Shin Wen uh, demonstrating to us the power of her game, and she is now firmly on the world stage. So congratulations to both of our contestants tonight. And both of these women are amongst the most extraordinary athletes in the world. They're inspiring women to pick up rackets, girls to pick up rackets all over the world. And we're really grateful for the amazing experience that they've had in Australia the last month. Each of them has done an extraordinary job. And Arena as a second time Grand Slam champion at the Australian Open. Congratulations. Thank you very much, Jane. 
Uh, we now call upon the chair umpire for the women's singles final, Jaume Campestol from Spain. I ask him to come forward to receive a gift for the part that he's played in tonight's final. Trophy presented by our referee Wayne McEwen. And so, this young woman has entertained us this tournament with her vibrant personality and a very powerful brand of tennis. She's brought a whole new fan base to our sport. Her rise to stardom continues, and next week she'll move into the top 10 on the WTA rankings for the very first time in her career. Please welcome. Jun Chin Wen to accept her finalist trophy. Well, first of all, I want to say uh, congrats to Arena to have such a wonderful match here and it's my first final and I'm feeling a little bit pity, but that's <laughs> how it is, this experience for me. And in the same time, I want to say thanks for all the fans who come here to watch me. And I feel right now very complicated because I feel that I could do it better, but I didn't die in this match. But anyway, I want to say thanks to my team to help me arrive here. And And also, I really enjoyed to play in this Australia Open. That was amazing memory for me. I'm sure there's going to be more and better in the future. And thanks for all the sponsors, and thanks again to all of you guys. Thank you. Well, what a year it's been since capturing her first Grand Slam title here on Rod Laver Arena. Her consistency has been exceptional, so much so that she reached the pinnacle of our game in September of last year by becoming the world number one. But there couldn't be a more perfect way to kick off a new year than by going back to back in Melbourne. Please welcome the 2024 Australian Open Women's Singles Champion, Arena Sabalenka. First of all, I want to say thank you, even for uh, for being such an inspiration for all of us and receiving this beautiful trophy from you. It's a pleasure for me. Thank you so much for everything. Uh, uh, secondly, I want to congratulate Chi Wen on um, an incredible couple of weeks here in Australia. I know this feeling, it's really tough to lose in the finals, but you're such an incredible player and such a young girl, and you're going you're gonna to be in many more finals. And, um, you're going to get it, and just congrats to you. I want to say congrats to you and your team on, on the amazing job you guys done. Um, no, it's not going to be crying. Okay. <laughs> um, thank you for everyone who made this tournament happen, Tennis Australia, director of the tournament, everyone who was helping me during these two weeks. It's, it's been an amazing couple of weeks, and I couldn't, couldn't imagine myself uh, lifting this trophy one more time. And it's an it's, it's unbelievable feeling right now, and I'm really speechless. And um, um, as always, my, um, my speech is going to be weird. So 
It's not my superpower, but I'll try my best. <laughs> um, team, wow. <laughs> you see, guys, I put a little bit of pressure on them after the Brisbane final. <laughs> and we did a little bit better in this one. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you so much for being by my side, no matter what. Uh, I, think, I think I have everything. Uh, I mean, what I, I forgot what I wanted to say, but without you, I wouldn't be able to, <laughs> to achieve so much in this sport. Thank you so much for everything you're doing for me. I'll just keep repeating the same that I'm saying on each speech, so thank you so much for everything you've done for me. I mean, without me, you wouldn't be that good as well, you know? Like, let's, let's accept that fact. <laughs> um, and, and actually, I never, I, I never speak about my family on the, on the winning speeches before, but I actually have to say thank you so much for, for everything they've done to me. Um, should I keep speaking English because they, they're not going to understand me? <laughs> but I hope that, that they'll translate. Um, so I, I love you so much and uh, you're my biggest motivation and everything I'm doing, I'm doing for you. So I'm sending love and I really miss you so much. Thank you guys. And did, they, did they speak about incredible crowd here? No, I think I forgot, but actually, guys, thank you so much for, for all the support during these two weeks. I really enjoy playing in front of you. This is what makes this place special, and that's... Sorry, I said it again. <laughs> so I love you so much, and I can't wait to come back, and hopefully... <laughs> thank you, guys. Thank you. Wow, that was long. Sorry. Congratulations once again, Arena. Well played. Well, that concludes our official presentation. There will be a photo opportunity, and then Arena will be keep completing a lap of honour uh, with the trophy, the Daphne Akhurst Memorial Cup. Would you please give these two wonderful women a final round of applause as we wrap up the women's single tournament for the 2024 Australian Open. Well, what a wonderful moment for both players. Heartbreak for Chin Wen, but a lot of learning, I suspect, Chanda. Not just on the court and to go through that match, but to get up there on stage and to have to feel the hurt, the disappointment, and have to stand there. It's not easy, but it's all part of the learning curve. Yeah, it's the, the toughest thing to do after the immense disappointment of coming so close to a trophy and to not be holding up the number one but i think for zhang chen Wen, you know she's such a dynamic player she's going to be a star and you can see her see how she just radiates out there you can really feel her personality even the way she communicates how she she makes herself understood it's a special thing and we're looking forward to many more of these big matches from her. And Arena Sabalenka, how cute was she? At all smiles, and rightfully so, after defending her first major title, getting major title number two, and perhaps being able to appreciate it a little bit more. It's different every time. And, you know, Sabalenka, she has just been awesome here in Australia these last couple of years. Yep, she looks right at home here on Rot Labor Arena. Yeah, it was really unchallenged all tournament long and no one was able to get anywhere near the performance that she put on from start to finish. And to be handed the trophy from such an incredible champion in her own right, Yvonne Gulagong Kali. I mean, you see players all tournament long appreciating these greats watching them appreciating their tennis supporting them and it's just so nice to have them a part of this cer ceremony as well yeah 50 years since Yvonne last won it here and you can see the the photographers all waiting to get that perfect shot and I can only imagine 
how big this would have been back in China for Chin Wen. And the, and the excitement that she brings to the sport absolutely. worldwide. Yeah, absolutely. We saw pictures of Alina behind the scenes watching this match. And, you know, she was the inspiration for a player like Zhang Chin Wen. You know, she has led the way and, and how gratifying it must be for Li Na to see this this young player, this young Chinese woman in this moment. And she's only going to learn from this experience playing against a champion like Sabalenka. I mean, this is what the sport is all about. It's the highs, it's the lows and everything in between. And you just appreciate it that much more when you do get to the top of the mountain. That's right. She said she was a little disappointed with her performance, but I don't think she needs to be disappointed. She should be proud. Now Sabalenka can be a little more creative. <laughs> Learn from her trophy lift last year and do it a little bit better. <laughs> yeah, this is the moment. So well deserved. All the hard work, all the fight, the sacrifices yeah. you make throughout the year, in the off season, putting the work in. And it's to try to be in this moment. Yeah, it's been 20 years in the making, hasn't it? 25 year old. And start of the game at five years of age and always been destined for greatness and I feel Chanda that Sabalenka is just getting better and we may not have seen the best of her yet I'm sure of it this is always a fun shot the spider cam out of from up above with the Melbourne sign it's a dynamic shot of the champion with the trophy <laughs> and I do think Sabalenka is getting better I think she's trying to add components to her game and when you have as big a game as she has I mean, the next step keep consistency but also you look to move forward and we saw her do that in this tournament most notably in her semi-final match against golf she did it just enough in this final match as well and that would leave opponents nowhere to go to. You can't just float the ball back up the middle when you're trying to get her shots back in play. So, so much to look forward to for Arena Sabalenka. And it's just the start of this 2024 season. A little bit of a reward for the ball persons who you know, some of the unsung heroes of these tournaments. That's right. They were lucky enough to be selected to do the final tonight. And what a thrill it is for them to get this opportunity right here on Rod Laver Arena. Sabalenka can walk around and so many fans who have been waiting patiently to get a shot of her up close and personal. Two-time Australian Open champion. Well, history suggests it's hard to do. Go back to back and let's wait till Australian Open 2025 where she goes for a three-peat. <laughs> you know, she hinted at that fact. Fingers crossed. As she spoke during the ceremony. Looking forward to coming back and potentially defending her title once again. But, you know, let's stay in the moment. Yeah. This is pretty special. Yeah, her, team, right. <laughs> her team will come out and oh, this I'll enjoy this. Yeah. player is an island. They have so much support. Their team is behind them. Sabalenka spoke about her family back home. Playing for them. And there's so much that motivates a player behind the scenes. Motivates them to try to 
get to this moment. Yeah, it's a lovely <laughs> touch. It is. Spectacular. She's like, I need the trophy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dubrov on the right, the coach, he doesn't say a lot. You don't get a lot out of him, but... Now, you can't lift the trophy when you didn't win it, though. No. That's kind of a no-no yeah. right there. <laughs>